I just love when a movie title is one of those like anagram things and you can literally rename it to almost anything that you want. It just, it's great, even something if it's not kid appropriate. I'll tell you guys my my anagram for this movie in the anime. Anyway, hey there guys, what's up? What's going on? It's Autobot Mike 18 here. Guys, um I have another movie review for you today. I am going to be reviewing a film. This is gonna be one of my uh this is going to be my last movie review actually for uh, another week of a new release film. Um I will be back into the swing of things, but th we got three big new release films this uh Actually, four. I saw two of four, and I'm going to wait to see the other two till when I return, but I'm going to be away from YouTube for a week. Nevertheless, I'm not going to get into that heavily in this video. I will in another video. But in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the new family film, The BFG. I thought the... I looked in the, the screen. It looked like the poster was upside down for a second. I would have been upset. Um, guys, yes, The BFG is a... New movie? Yes, of course it's a new movie. It is a Disney release, and it is from director Steven Spielberg. <sighs> if you couldn't already tell by the wall, yeah, Spielberg. He's a good one. He's a very good one. So naturally, I had to go see this movie. For me, it was between this, The Legend of Tarzan, and The Purge 3 election year. Yes, yeah, Spielberg wins. So guys, the BFG, the BFG is actually based on the really popular book by Rodal that is so old. Um, I don't even know what year they made that movie, but um, or that book, the uh, Rodal wrote that book, but I'm assuming it's years and years and years old because that was around when I was a kid and I knew it was around even before that. Uh, Rodal wrote a lot of really popular children's books, Charlie and the Chocolate Fl Blah. Factory, Factory, uh, George's Marvelous Medicine is always one of my favorites. I was actually one of the few who never read the BFG. I never did. I don't know what it was. I was just one of the ones who escaped reading it. I, I, or I just never thought of picking it up. But now I've seen the movie all these years later after the book. Uh, now, guys, the BFG, getting into the premise behind this film, the BFG follows a young, um, a, uh, a young British orphan who is uh, played by Rose Barnhill, I want to say. Ruby Barnhill. There we go. I'm forgetting names already. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ruby Barnhill plays a young um, uh, British orphan. She, Her name is Sophie in the, f in the film. Um, she is late at one night. She's up, and she gets taken. Literally, a giant hand reaches through her orphanage and s essentially captures her, um, and she is taken by a giant into what is known as giant country out of her normal home, and she comes to uh, meet this giant and realize, and learns that this giant is called the BFG, and he is the very one, he's one of the very few many giants who live in giant country. This fantasy world, things are much, much different from London, of course. And the two start to grow a small bond with each other at first. Obviously, she's freaked the hell out because uh, it's a giant. Is he going to eat her? Possibly. He just might as well could. Um, and the giant, guys, is played by Mark Rylance in this movie. And the two of them um, are on a mission to specifically save giant country and save several humans as well. And that is all I'm going to say about the BFG there you have it. That's your movie. Um, now, guys, going into the BFG, I wasn't like it wasn't like this was one of my most hyped films of the year. I think part of the reason because I don't have a connection to the book series or, or to the book that the film was based off of. I wasn't going to just say this is my most hyped of the year because Spielberg is directing. I've done that before for other movies, but when it's a movie that I don't know a ton about, and especially it's a fa this is a fantasy film for sure, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. The fantasy genre is not my favorite type of genre. It's not the one that I'm always like yearning, like I'm like, I have to see a fantasy movie every single week. Um, so I wasn't like wholly like, yeah, I got to 
this movie looks amazing. It is just going to be Spielberg's best or anything like that. You know what I mean? I was definitely anticipating this because Spielberg was behind the camera. And I got to admit, I really, first off, I really like how they're actually marketing this film as just Disney's the BFG or even Road Dolls the BFG as the title of the movie says before the movie starts and it's not like a Steven Spielberg film so it's like one of the least like yeah Spielberg's not putting his name out there as much as he does with his other movies you know what I mean so guys what did I think of the BFG how good is this movie is it Spielberg classic Jurassic Park E.T. good not exactly, but it is still a fun and entertaining movie for sure, and I would definitely, to categorize this movie the best, it's a fun family film. This is a movie you need to take your kids to see. I think they will enjoy it for the most part. Um, the kids in my, there were a lot of children in my theater, and I went on a Friday afternoon at like four in the afternoon, so there, the, the auditorium was decently filled. Um, the kids weren't laughing and going nuts over the movie, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. It just means that they didn't find it as funny as some of the adults did in my theater who actually laughed at some of the uh, mystical things about this movie and some of the um, humorous scenarios that um, our character, the BFG, gets involved in because he's not human. He's a giant. Um, so, you know, I think that... Because, I'm calling this a family film because of that. Not only is Spielberg the master of the family film, because he is, Jurassic Park, E.T., Indiana Jones, need I say any more? I won't. Um, not only is he, in my opinion, the one who's made consistently good family films, like even Close Encounters of the Third Kind, I'll go on the limb and say, yeah, that's a good sci-fi family film. Um, but... This movie definitely can, it's not only going to um, pander to children, it definitely, I think adults can find a great deal of likability to it, because I definitely did. I think there was a lot of good going for this movie. For the first half of this film, I was pretty into it. I would say it, it took me maybe 15 minutes to get into the to, into the world of this character, the BFG, and get into this um, this duo that I'm now being introduced in. It took me about 15 minutes. I felt that we got into the plot, like, into the... Like, I wanted more time with Sophie's character, Ruby Barnhill, before we get... We go right into giant country, you know what I mean? Um, apart from that, right after, I would say, the 15-minute mark, I was pretty much into the movie. I was into the visuals, and I was into the performances, and I think those are the best takeaways for the BFG, without a doubt, no questions asked. Um, so I guess I'll start performance-wise, because the performances are excellent in this movie, as they always are in a Spielberg movie. Let's start off with um, Mark Rylance. Now, Mark Rylance did the motion capture work as the, uh, one of the giants, and I actually, I kid you not, I did not research this movie beforehand. I had assumed that the Giants were mostly CGI. Um, obviously, Mark Rylance doesn't actually look like this. You see parts of his face throughout the Giant, but obviously it, that's not what Mark Rylance looks like. That's not his facial structure. But you can still see him within that, okay? And his voice, of course. But I was sitting there like... Did they shoot this movie with like a forced pers with a with forced perspective or something to make uh, the giants look really big and the the human characters look really small? I was really wondering, and I still I'm assuming yes they did do that for some shots, but this is all motion capture CG work for the and I'll talk about that later. Still, despite all of that, Mark Rylance gives a great performance in this movie, and he was another one of the reasons why I actually was definitely looking forward to this movie, because I thought he was one of, if not the best parts of Bridge of Spies, which Spielberg directed last year. Spielberg um, directed that, now he just directed this, and he's now worked with Rylance twice. Rylance also just won Best Supporting Actor, so I was impressed with the guy from that movie. I thought he absolutely brought so much charm and likability to that to that man who was just so beaten down and just so like at his low point. And I loved that about um, uh, Bridge of Spies. But getting to the BFG, I think Mark Rylance brings that same like sweet charm and that like 
that like old grandfather like comfort feeling in this movie in this role and i think that's why his that character and that um, performance works so damn well. Not only was the performance great, but I think the character on another level is also very well written. I love the different traits that the BFG has. By the way, BFG, Big Friendly Giant, my uh, a acronym for it, acronym? I, yeah. Was uh, the Big Effin' Giant. That's what everybody's been called. Yes. The, I'm sorry. I'm, in, I'm inappropriate. Yes, I know. Um, <laughs> but, um, I love the character traits. I love how he doesn't know, like, perfect, not perfect English, but he doesn't know how to speak properly. He messes words up sometimes. I love how he's, like, the runt of the litter of all of the giants. Like, he's the smallest one, and everybody else is, like, so much bigger than him. I love what his profession is in this movie without spoiling anything. This character is so damn fascinating, and Mark Rylance brought him to life, and that is the best part of this movie, for sure. I also thought Ruby Barnhill, who I'll talk about her character in a bit towards the end, despite flaws I might have had with the writing of that character, I thought the performance of that actress was really good. Now Spielberg is always and has always and will always be known to be one of the best directors to work with children because he is great with children. Whenever children appear in his movies, they don't annoy me. They don't piss me off. They're, qu they're good characters. They're not stupid. And that is definitely the same thing going with the BFG. It's like it's Spielberg. He works amazing with kids. I want to become like him one day and, and tolerate kids on set. I do. I've never worked with children on set myself personally, but I can't imagine it's an easy thing to do. Um, that being said, I thought Ruby Barnhill was great in this film. Um, I thought she also was sweet, and I 100% bought the chemistry between her and Mark Rylance in this film. No questions asked. Um, moving on, obviously the film is well directed and well shot. That's a given. It's a Spielberg movie. I'm not even going to waste time on it. It looks great. It's not like it's Spielberg's best directed movie, and it's not like it's his most like magical or most like mystical movie that he's made. It's a really great looking film with amazing CGI work and motion capture work done by all of the actors playing the giants. And of course, all of the human actors that are interacting with actors that aren't actually there have to obviously have to give them credit as well because they're acting with motion capture people and it's hard to get an idea of scale. Of course, I couldn't imagine doing that. So props to all of them, for sure. Spielberg knows his stuff, though. He knows how to handle big set pieces like this. He, it, it's Steven Spielberg. I'm not even going to do it. The guy's a genius. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to brush into that. I'm just going to brush over that. It's Spielberg. The movie looks great. It feels great. Uh, if there's any problems or anything wrong with the film, it's around... It's, for me, it concerned the script, which doesn't particularly involve Spielberg, although it is the director's job to bring the script to life with the vision they have in mind for it. It's not like, you know, some director's just going to be like, nope, that script sucks, let's change that script, let's change that thing about it. you just got to work with what you have sometimes. So, that being said, um, I loved everything about the score. John Williams, it, it's, it's great. Of course, John Williams' score is great. You guys know all this. My problems with this movie that keeps me from saying it's the best of Spielberg or it's perfection from Spielberg are story issues that I had with the film. My first one uh, was with just in general with the character of Sophie. I felt she wasn't as a compelling or fully fleshed out character as was the character of the BFG. That's right. The human character of this movie wasn't as fleshed out as I wanted that character to be. And for me, apart from that character's backstory, there wasn't anything else wholly special about the character. So that is why I was like, I mean, obviously she has a great, she grows slowly over time, a great connection with this giant, this really nice and sweet, charming giant. But other than that, I, I didn't feel like anything else was flushed out with her. So it, it, it was hard for me to latch on to that character. That's one thing. I still got into the movie in the first act after I'd say the first 15 minutes because in my opinion the first scene didn't like again flesh out or like get me hooked onto this main young uh, character. Um, 
That said, I love the first half of this movie. I love seeing uh, Giant Country, and I love everything that the first half did. And then we get to the second act, and by this time, our two main characters have a goal at hand, and they've got to, you know, carry out this goal and, and accomplish what they are set out to do. And right towards close to the midway point of the second act, towards the end of the second act, the characters decide they have to go see a certain human without spoiling anything to get or accomplish their goal. That kind of came out of nowhere for me because then we not only leave giant country, but we get more involved with human characters who are just coming into the movie with 30 minutes to go. And that for me, while I did love the scene, there's a great, really funny comedic scene in a castle with these characters, and I thought it was great. It's towards the end of the film, you guys will know it when you see it. It's a great scene, it's a great moment, but for me, these characters are trying to accomplish a goal. They have a goal in mind to save giant country, and they're just like taking a break from the plot of the movie to have this funny scene. And don't get me wrong, it's one of the best scenes of the movie, but at the same time, they're detracting from the main story. And for me, I was like, don't you guys have a mission? So that kind of took me out of it a little bit. And finally, I feel that the climax of this movie, and in general, the ending scene, happened almost out of nowhere. It was abrupt as hell, and I was like, wait, the movie's over? What? I That kind of came out of nowhere for me. So I had definitely story issues, uh, structure issues with the script. Apart from that, I enjoyed this adaptation of the BFG, even though I've never read the book. I'm sorry, guys. Um, the film was well shot, well directed, incredibly well acted, great motion capture CG work, and I enjoyed a lot of strong elements with it. Guys, for that reason, I am going to go a decent, uh, solid grade of an uh, 8.25 out of 10, or a grade of a B- minus for the BFG. It's not a movie. It's definitely a great family film. I would definitely recommend families taking your kids to see this movie this summer if there's, like, I wouldn't say full price it. I would say Cheap Night. It's definitely worth it. I think you guys will overall really enjoy it. Um, maybe some of you will enjoy it more than me. Again, as I said even earlier on, this isn't my favorite type of genre as well, so maybe that's one of my personal factors, but I'm not saying that'll be the same for you guys. You guys may love this genre more than I do. Me, not as much. That being said, I still have fun with the BFG. Saw uh, uh, B, 8.25 out, uh, 8 out of 10. Guys, what did you think of the BFG if you saw it down below? Where does it rank with your Spielberg films? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you shortly in one of my next videos. Bye, guys.